Our next guest is a playwright who helped bring the noise and bring the funk. And as a poet, he was one of the first to open the doors for the whole movement. This is my man. I'm glad to have him here. Please welcome a true ghetto legend, the New York and soul brother, my man Reggie Kane. I don't feel like writing today, but I'll write anyway because how else can I get good? Sitting around waiting for a poem to slap me upside my head, it don't work, at least not for me. Guess it's like a car. You don't jump in jet 60 miles an hour. Got to warm it up, let it breathe. I mean, if you want to make love to your woman who you haven't seen for three weeks, because you was in Los Angeles doing rewrites on this script you never should have done in the first place. But you overextended yourself putting on a show. Loaning niggas money you ain't even know. Can't pay the IRS 50 grand you owe, so you whore yourself out writing Coon Show number 75 for some big corporation. Then you step through the door, smell the rice and beans and that cocoa butter shit she puts in her dreads. And you grab her, start ripping off her clothes, and she says, easy, baby, take it slow. <laughs> but you go berserk. Because of the frustration, all the ass kissing and booty licking, which you should have been doing for her. And it pisses you off, and you want her so bad as the pants, legs, or the pajamas you bought her for Christmas are down round her ankles. Then you bend her, flex her, finally thrust and she's not wet and you're so hard and it hurts and she screams and suddenly you realize you're nothing more than a rapist who writes which is why I write when I don't feel like writing because I might find out shit about myself I never ever knew <laughs> 